In this video, we'll look at the three X particles fluid solvers. There's fluid flip, fluid FX, and fluid PBD. But how do you decide which solver to use for your scene? Let's explore that. In this scene, we've got a very basic particle setup. We have an emitter firing out these blue particles. They're being pulled down by a gravity modifier, and they're being contained within this cube with a collider tag. So let's say we want to create a fluid simulation from this setup. Well, we have fluid tools in X particles. This should be easy. So let's go to our dynamics menu. We'll go to our dynamic objects submenu, and we have lots of objects which can help create fluid sims. But which one to use? Well, we have three different fluid solvers for a start. We have fluid PBD, fluid effects, and fluid flip. So let's just say, I don't know, bring in an XP fluid PBD, default settings, hit play, and straight away we have what looks like a nice fluid simulation. We've got a wave crashing up, and then we've got this nice fluid motion. So why would you choose Fluid PBD over the other two? Well, let's just deactivate that one for now. Go back to our Dynamics menu, and let's choose another Fluid Solver, XP Fluid Effects. Let's bring that one in. Hit Play, Default Settings. And we're getting a very nice Fluid Sim. Slightly different this time. It's got its own unique look, but it's looking pretty nice and it's moving well. So why would you choose fluid effects over the other one? Well, let's just deactivate that one and go back to our menu because we also have XP Fluid Flip, which is another fluid solver. Now, this one is slightly different. This one is calculated within its own domain, so we don't need this collision geometry, so we'll just switch that off. And we'll leave that in its default settings, hit play. And now we've got an equally nice fluid sim happening. Again, it's got its own characteristics but they're all moving in a similar fluid-like way. To complicate the decision even further, if we go inside our XP fluid flip, there is a choice of solvers within this object. We have the default APIC, or we can change it to flip. And then we've got yet another different fluid solve from this one basic particle setup. Not only that, if we go back to our Dynamics menu, and go in the objects, we have some other dynamic modifiers to help with our fluid simulations. We have XP Wave, XP Splash, XP Sheeter, and XP Foam, all of which can work slightly differently depending on which fluid solver you are choosing. So it's fantastic that we have this choice of solvers in X particles but it can be a little bit overwhelming at first and difficult to decide which solver is right for your scene. So that is the point of the following videos. We're going to analyze and explore some common use case scenes, some large scale, some mid scale, and some small and macro scale. We'll explore all of the different solvers. We'll explore their strengths, which scenes they are better suited to. So by the end of it, you'll have a much better idea of which solver is correct for the scene on which you are working.